welcome back. This is going to be a little uh, DIY on how to do a parcel shelf. Um, this is on my A86 grill, but I guess you can apply this to any car you want. Um, a lot of these fine JDM machines, they come with a lot of missing parts and trim, and parcel shelves are usually one of those. So you want to make sure the hardware is there, like these brackets to hold it and where it needs to sit. As long as you've got all that in place, um, you're good to go. You need to do some measurements, a lot of measurements to make sure you clear everything. Um, and then it's just uh, a matter of um, putting a lot of numbers down. I make a, a template of the edge. I find that a lot easier than just measuring everything. And of course you're gonna need a lot of measurement uh, still. I've done this a few times so it's kind of hard to to tell you exactly where to to, to do your measurements. Um, you'll pick it up as you go. But as I said, for the uh, contours, um, of the sides where they need to to meet the uh, the trim the edge of the trunk I always make a template um, for that and then it's all about tracing it down I am using a piece of plywood uh, six millimeters and that's not very strong it's gonna flex but I'll get back to that later right just trimming it uh, roughly into the shape I want it and at this initial stage I always do it about five millimeters uh, too big on all measurements just to make sure that you can uh, fit it um, and it actually needs to be a bit under the measurements uh, often because you need to make room for uh, trim and uh, and whatever you're gonna cover it with. So. All right, tracing a design. I have studied a few pictures of stock AE86 uh, partial shelves, and I want to make one as close as the stock-looking one as, as possible. So that's basically what I'm tracing down. Um, just getting some rough lines there. And I'm making a barrier of, uh, this is just regular masking tape. Putting in some reinforcements because you want this to be the strongest part. So I'll just put in some sort of a piece of wood. Gluing all the enforcements uh, down, making sure it, it stays in shape and doesn't warp. And just redoing some of the masking tape. I should have probably waited until this step to, to do it, but anyways, then I'll kind of see if I can make a rough barrier um, around the traced edge that I did before where I uh, I try to get this as close as possible you're gonna trim it down anyway so but still there's a lot of work in, involved in this so if it's a 50 50 60 buck partial shelf you should probably should just go buy one um, but these are kind of rare and hard to find especially without holes for speakers and whatnot so and I think the original um, OEM Toyota A86 partial shelves go for about a few hundred uh, bucks so this is well worth spending a few hours on so. initial design done regular um, 
spilling foam, PU foam, whatever you want to call it. And make sure to get around the gaps. Make sure that your uh, reinforcement uh, piece of wood doesn't go all the way through because if you trim it down, you'll see the edges uh, of it. So you need about one centimeter of clearance. Otherwise, it's just a matter of uh, putting a pretty even layer of foam down. Remember, this is going to like uh, expand to probably five times the size of what you put down. So not really necessary to put down that much. Just make sure that you get it uh, that you get it to stick and, and doesn't just sit there loose. Alright, next day, this is swollen up pretty good, so, and at this point it's also hardened. So the first thing you want to do is uh, remove all the masking tape and make sure that the foam sticks to, uh, to the parcel shelf. Then you can do some initial um, around the edges uh, trimming just taking some off the top mine is going to have like um, two different heights so the big piece uh, on the rear end is going to be one centimeter higher than the rest and that is all just a matter of well basically just trimming it down to height whatever height whatever shape you want this is very easy to work with you can sand it using sanding blocks and sanding paper or you can just cut it with a with a blade like this. And remember if you're gonna cover it with something it, it's it doesn't really matter of you know how good the finish is. It's just about getting like the shapes and the heights because that will show uh, when you cover it. Right, cutting a piece of a uh, fabric. This is some um, fake wool uh, speaker enclosure fabric but this is great for uh, for shaping so you can just push it down in the corners to get the shape you want and now as this is basically the shape that I want it uh, to be it will well basically stay this shape um, so you can take it off and then put it back and it'll go roughly in the same place the only problem I have is the foam didn't really stick on this piece of wood I used for reinforcement because it was painted. I probably should have sanded it. Uh, so it's going to show. It's going to be a little uneven. Maybe just cover that up with some tape or you can refoam it if you want to. So in my case, I'm just going to put on some duct tape. When you're all set, you hit it with um, some spray adhesive. Um, some sort of glue that will hold it uh, together. This is um, a contact uh, cement that I'm using. So apply on both uh, surfaces and let it set for a bit until it gets tacky and then just uh, put it together and make sure to get um, the cloth all the way into the corners and it'll stick and hold itself. All right, trimming the edges. Just leaving about five millimeters again um, as you can always trim it more. Putting on some brackets. And working out where I need to cut the holes for this string um, for it to, to move up with the tailgate. So I drill some holes and then I put these uh, plastic plugs in there to also soften the log a bit instead of just having holes in there. And yes, it is a shoelace, but it will work. 
Just paint it the back. Just hit it with some satin black, nothing fancy. And making sure everything fits and the brackets are where they need to be and yet that you clear the rear seats when you open it. As a mistake a lot of people do, they put it too much forward. Um, so you have to go back and trim everything off uh, if you want the parcel shelf to be able to open. So I'll just pull the string down through the hole. And with a bit of uh, masking tape, I'll make sure to get the right height that I want. So to get the right tension on the string as to where you need it to be when it's fully opened. As you can see at some point it's it's not going to open anymore so it's kind of just finding the, the balance of where it's opening and where you're just pulling on it. So I'll say yeah, that's too much. Probably there. And as always, I overthink everything, so I should probably just call it a day and then be done with it, but really wanting to make sure that this works. All right, made up my mind. This is going to be it. Remove the parcel shelf with the string in place. And measure up the same length. Then you end up with, um, yeah, it's supposed to be going down on itself, but sometimes you need to put a little weight on it um, to make sure that it does. Newer cars, actually, are almost all of them that has this design and not just a, a fixed string, they use some sort of weight, probably some sort of a rubber ball that doesn't make any noise because it'll be dangling uh, in the boot and it could probably make some noise if it contacts uh, trim or whatever as you're driving. So this is just to give you an illustration of that you need to put some weight on the string if you want this design and not just a fixed uh, string. And if you put some weight on it then as you close it'll go down and just hang loose and when you open it'll just go up and pull on the parcel shelf. Okay, so decided on putting on some weights. Um, not really having any rubber balls laying around. Um, I just decided on making some uh, AN10 um, fitting uh, color things that I had laying around. So I'll just put those on. Um, put the string in and then fill it up with some uh, gasket maker. I actually think I ended up using window sealant because it, it hardens up um, much more firmly than just gasket maker. I also tied a few knots on the string before I chucked it all in there to make sure that it'll stick and not just pull out when you pull on the parcel shelf. So, 
Sasha Seals back in with my, that's gonna sound wrong, dangling red things. And getting it on there. I'm trying to. Dirty, and you can access the boot pretty good. Probably is a little high as to compare to a stock partial self on the A86. Uh, I haven't really seen any, um, so I wouldn't know how to compare it. But this works for me. And as you lower the boot, the string just falls. Actually, there's about what. 8 inches of string from the attachment point on the boot lid um, down to the partial shelf so it's not going to be like a full uh, 18 inch uh, of dangling string um, in the boot when you're driving because I'll just flap around and hit everything so and that's uh, basically it Pretty fast, easy little DIY on how to do a partial shelf. There you go.